when people have chronic illnesses, a, a typical mistake that they make with probiotics is they buy probiotics that have lactobacillus in them, not realizing that a lot of these strains actually increase histamine or they break down an amino acid called histidine into histamine, indirectly increasing histamine levels. When histamine levels are higher in the gut, then your mast cells are more reactive. When your mast cells are more reactive, there's more inflammation in the gut. You have a higher probability of bad bacteria growing, leaky gut developing, etc. The best bacteria that you want to use are going to be the bifidobacterium. Bifidobacterium modulate the immune response in the gut by creating short-chain fatty acids. They also resist pathogens and most importantly, they degrade histamine as well. So, um, and they prevent inflammatory reactions in the gut and immune responses, allergy reactions. So they're extremely important to not depleting your body of, uh, you know, DAO and increasing your histamine levels uh, indirectly by doing that. So if you really want to restabilize your gut, overcome histamine intolerance, overcome chronic illnesses, you want to restabilize that bifidobacterium in your stomach, not the lactobacillus. Typically people have too much lactobacillus, not enough of the bifidobacterium and acromensia, and this is leading their gut to be uh, disrupted and the inflammation to be problematic, and that leads to their symptoms to develop. So I thought I wanted to share, if you are someone with a chronic illness, the last thing you want to do is go purchase a probiotic that has lactobacillus in it. You want to stick with something like Probiota Bifido by Seeking Health. It's bifidobacterium only strains, and uh, that would be the safest way to go. So thanks for watching. Join my page if you like the information.